Good afternoon, this is James from Advanced In Car Technologies and today we're going to show you how to take a door card off for a Volkswagen T5 and this model is a 2010 onwards I'm sure they're probably all very similar uh, so the tools you're going to need today good old handy trim tool very good for removing plastic parts and a Torx screwdriver this particular size is a T25 not the T20 you'll just end up rounding up the screws rounding off the screws and also you're going to need a good old Phillips screwdriver okay so most importantly three tools that you need here trim tool Phillips and T25 so what we're going to do is we're going to just pop the trim tool in the top of the handle here once you've got the trim tool in you can just pop this out make sure that your lugs are, have not been broken off and that's how it fits in Phillips screwdriver Now if you've got a magnet handy, always handy to have a nice telescopic magnet so that if you do drop any tools or any screw screws, you can just pick them up. Just make sure that they're fully loosened off. And this bar here should just be able to come out. As you can see, both the screws in like so. Okay, next screwdriver you need is the T25. So the camera's gonna have to come down a bit because it's just below the upper pocket here you've got your T25 in through, the, in through the bolt. So what you do is you get your screwdriver in and undo the screw. And at this point, I generally just leave it in like so. And then you've got three right down at the bottom. Bit dirty, so apologies for that. You've got one, two, and three. So we'll start off with the middle one. Again, just simply undo. Careful you don't drop and lose the screws. And then last one here. Okay, put those in a safe place. Now using your good old trusty plastic trim tool, you can start around the bottom, like so, and the VW clips um, easily break, so don't be afraid that if you've broken any of them, you can get them from your VW dealer. Uh, they're probably nearly a pound each, but well worth the replacing rather than having a rattly door card after you've taken it off. Okay, I'll show you those clips in a second. So I'm gonna start off down the bottom here, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna leave it out like so sometimes they come off really easily so, um, but make sure the plastic is warm before you do it otherwise you could potentially crack it start off at the bottom lever all the way up like so and then once you've got your hand in you can use a bit of purchase just there to unclip and run your hand and your trim tool all the way along the bottom and you can see now that the door card is sitting out a little bit, work your way up the side of the trim. Okay, this is the tricky bit, if there are any tricky bits. If you start here at the top by the wing mirror, you can just lift this bit off. If you lift this bit off before this bit, it'll make it much easier to do. Otherwise, you'll be battling with the lip that sits over the lip for the window. And at this point, you can just slide up, And once you've got the top part off here, you can lift the rest of it up. You could mind the knob there. You see that's just popped off nicely, and you can then bring it forward a tiny bit. Don't break this. This also pops out, and this is for the uh, alarm LED. You can put your hands in behind the bit of trim, give that a bit of a wiggle. So when you reinsert or put, re put your door card back on, you can pull this to one side. It's much easier to insert the door uh, knob back in there without having to line it up through here. Otherwise, you'll just end up breaking it. Okay, so that's nice and simple. Okay, now, you've now got the actual door release part. This is the bit that you would normally use to get out of the vehicle. So at this point, I'm gonna have to get my head in the way. 
you can run your fingers, unclip the little lip at the side here, pull the trim back and it just pops off and then you've got a simple little hook. And that's that. So again, just to show you, you've got a little hook that fits on the actual door latch and then a separate clip. Careful not to break these because I think you'd find that quite difficult to replace. And then simple enough, underneath here, you've got the uh, front and um, passenger window switch. Push in before you push the tab to release it. And the same for the mirrors. I might be able to do this one handed. I might have to get my glamorous assistant to come over and give me a hand. What we do is if we can just hold that up there. You can actually undo this bit here. This bit here is the LED for the alarm. So what you can do is just release. Simple, just get your thumb in between the uh, clip and pull that off. So at this point here, what I normally have, you can use a little flat screwdriver, uh, quite handy to do, and just pop that in and unclip. Don't need to do any damage, it's no problem. Uh, and the same here with this particular clip is this particular clip here is quite hidden at the back. Might need to get down and show you that. Okay, so where, I, where you can see the screwdriver, you push in to make sure the clip pushes home. You can depress the tab, and then once you've done that, you can just pull it out. Be careful not to break this, because if you break it, it may, may come out when you're going over a bump. Uh, and won't lock into place. So at this point, what we can do is just remove the door card itself and you'll find, and I'll show you these clips. So this one's just fallen on the floor. We'll pick that up and put that back in. Now this is a classic example um, of the clips that we use. These are easily replaceable at the Volkswagen dealership. This clip is already open, ready to go back in the door like so, 